Next session, user interfaces, enhancements. Let's talk about some additional features inside Team Developer 7.4. So I want to talk about the grid, the data export and import, new possibilities, row swapping for the grid. And then we have to look into the rich text, pasting formatted, unformatted text, setting uh, the enable or the active, um, often read only, often rich text control. They have, we have a tab control enhancements, we have MDI window enhancements, and uh, some enhancements for the menu. Let's start with the grid. The grid has a new function for the export, so I'll grid data export X. And we have different flags now. First of all, you can, if you use uh, the XLS X format for export or import, you can choose the XLS X format inside maybe the data uh, save format inside the name of the file, and it automatically uses the latest format. We have the format format Excel, format CSV, and so on. We have the new flag visible columns only. That means if you set it to true, you will only export or import or export at this point only the visible uh, columns of a grid. And we have uh, a combination of export flags. For example, we can uh, select the rows, we can set select as rows, select the columns, auto fit columns and auto fit rows. That means we will see the exported file exactly how it looks like ins inside the grid. We will see it later on again in my sample. We have also implemented the row swapping inside the grid. So salt table swap rows gives you the possibility to swap rows inside uh, a grid, like you want to swap uh, the first row with the second row, and you have to pass in the name of, of the grid or table window, so it's also possible to swap rows inside the table. Uh, you have to pass in the first row and the second row, and then you can swap directly. Maybe you use a click event and double click event to mark two rows and you can use a uh, salt table swap rows. And then of course, this both rows are swapped inside the layout, inside the visible area of your um, grid or table window. A nice function is salt table query row count because sometimes you get a result set from the database, but sometimes you, maybe you want to run and you want to uh, get information about um, UDV. You pass information out of a UDV into a grid or from a REST web service, you get a result set back and so on. And you want to know how many columns or many rows, that better, how many rows are uh, inside a special grid. So this gives you a, the result in n rows, how many grid uh, information or many table information is inside a special grid or table window. So it's available for grid and table. If you look into the rich text control, you can set it to read only during runtime. That means you copy it and paste something into this uh, grid. Then you have a, maybe a final version, and then you can set it to read only. That means uh, you can no longer add information into the grid, or maybe you want to do uh, something automatically to have um, maybe different text blocks, and you want to add this text box, um, and you don't want to change them. So this is very useful during runtime to set um, read only for this rich text control. Of course, you can query the rich text control if it is read only. So you get back the Boolean information is read only true or read only false. So you can display and act, uh, react on these different settings so that you get, for example, inside the status bar, this uh, rich text uh, control is no longer uh, in edit mode or is uh, now in edit mode and you can change information or you want to display, for example, a dialog. Now you can maybe copy and paste information into this um, uh, rich text control. A very useful a new event for the rich text control is some RTF paste. So this is a new event for the rich text control and gives you the possibility uh, to decide if you want to have unformatted or formatted text copied into the rich text control. So we can use the W parameter. Um, 
and uh, we get back this information and you can set this information into maybe a local boolean variable in my sample on the right hand side you will see a b clip what has rtf and if this is set to true you can for example display a message paste as unformatted text and if you get back yes then uh, return a false if you get back a true then return true and uh, at this point you will see that you can see only the text as a, co a copied information inside the rich text control or maybe if you have a template with uh, formatted text with different fonts with maybe a grid inside maybe some different color settings and so on then you will see really the formatted text inside the rich text control Rich text control at the language specific control key accelerators for bold, italic, and underline. So, if you're using a German uh, environment, then you will see the, or you can use the German key settings for bold, italic, and underline. If you use an Italian, Italian or French keyboard or UK keyboard, English keyboard, you will have different control key accelerators. So, you can use the standard keyboard accelerators in your different uh, environments. Also, you can prevent showing uh, tooltips when, for, if, when false is returned from some display tooltip and improve touch screen scrolling. You will later on, you will see that you can use also touch screens um, inside your application. Maybe you want to run your application on a, table, uh, on, on a tablet or if you want to run it on a, a computer with a touch screen. So it's a improved uh, touch screen scrolling. And, um, Enable vertical and horizontal scroll when Arctic uh, C control is set to disable. So these are some um, enhancements for the rich text control. For the tab control, we can now query if a tab page is enabled. So as you know, you can use enabled or disabled tab pages. So for some circumstances, for example, some information is not um, uh, available for a special application. At this point, you will see only uh, the, all these uh, tabs, but some of them maybe are disabled because there's no information on. So you can query if a special tab is uh, disabled. And at this point, then maybe you can um, inform the customer there is missing data or uh, you want to enable it later on and so on. So at this point, um, you get back this information from site table is pages enabled. and. Man, I want to keep in mind that the index page, uh, the first page is starting with zero. For the MDI window, we have different possibilities to set and get uh, pictures, background pictures. So no start pick set a binary, set string, set image, set handle, and get binary, get string, and get image is implemented for the MDI window. And also you can use pick set handle to pass in the handle from maybe a bitmap, uh, bitmap loaded in from a DLL. So if you have a resource DLL, you can directly use the handle of this DLL and you can pass this information, this bitmap directly to the background of an MDI window. And if you want to clear these images, you can pass in string null for start pick set string, binary null, to start pick sets binary, zero to start pick set handle, or even simply choose start pick clear uh, to clear the picture from the MDI background. Some format information for the MDI windows, not only for the MDI window, it's currently for all the different picture controls uh, inside Team Developer. So if you want to pass in a PNG, format, you have to specify the pick format PNG for start pick get binary, set binary, and the get string and set string uh, information. Or you can use directly start pick get image and set image, then you don't need the picture, uh, format picture PM, PNG information. So the uh, global constant values. For the GIF and JPEG format, you have to pass in pick format object. Of and you have to use the site pick get image and set pick image uh, inside your application. So there are a few differences in how uh, to pass in information uh, for different uh, MDI windows. 
at least um, you, uh, you have to choose the right one. And the best way is always to use uh, something which is really common and don't uh, focus, for example, on the PIG format PNG. If you can use, for example, a generic format like GPIG, GPEG and so on, it gives you the possibility to change a picture during runtime. But if you have, for example, a hard-coded pick form or PNG, or you have to decide which one is now loaded from maybe from a file, then you have to use additional formats and functions to get the right format of the picture control. So let's have a look into the demo. I share my screen again. Let's go into my share mode. Here we go. Let's start first at all my application to give you an overview of what's going on inside this information. So if I want to import an XLSX file, I can even click on this button and I get all this information inside this uh, XLSX grid or used by the XLSX format. So if you look into the format, you will see I've exported it previously um, that I get also the column headers in bold. I get all these informations, all the right data types, all this information like a string, also the width of uh, the information in the XLSX format. So this is really a proper export and also I can use this proper import uh, to get this information from this XML document into my application. Let's go back into my application. Also, I can, of course, use the import XLS format, the old version. So there's no difference, excepting that you now you can use support XLSX formats. And also for the export, you can export XLSX formats directly into uh, the new into the new format of the Microsoft Office uh, uh, yeah, export for the XLSX files. If you look into the swapping area, now I have everything inside the sequence. I can now click maybe on the first one. I can click on this one, 105. I can do a swap. I have now 105 on the front, on the first row, uh, in the first, yeah, first row. And this one is now swapped with that one. I can choose again proportional information. So it's set to proportional. Yeah. I can do different settings um, inside my grid. I can again do something like that. Oops, that one swap rows, so it's swapped for that. Uh, the um, yeah previously selected rows. For the rich text, I can set the rich text true. Get read only is this true, so I cannot type something in. If I put it back, so I can clear it again. It's set to false. I can do something. And now what I want to do is I want to open a Word document. Here we go. I have format for the text inside. I can do Control C. And if I do V, there is my uh, paste options. Paste that unformatted text. Yes, please. So no longer formatted. Everything is in times the Roman uh, 10. Uh, now I can do it again, and I do a no, I get formatted text. So I can mix it, of course. Um, the coding for that is pretty simple. What I've done is we are in my rich text control layout. So I have a new event on this rich text control. Let's go over the coding assistant. We have a paste. We check the W param, and if the param is set to true, I want to show this dialog, paste that unformatted text. If I say yes, then I can do return true, or I return a false. Depending on this return values, uh, I get formatted text or unformatted text into my rich text control. So it's very simple. The user has to decide what should be done. Do it again. Unformatted. No, I want to see the formatted text. 
good to go. Paste. Yes, it's unformatted text. So, very useful. Inside the date picker, we have also some enhancements, like we want to have more than one uh, information selected, so you get information of an array. Also, you get the number back of uh, selected uh, items or date values, like um, you don't have to query with a get upper bound how many objects or how many uh, items are inside uh, the array. And also, I can bring them back into um, information with a cell select. OK, now we talked about the grid. We talked about the grid import, about resizing for the format. And we have a, a top information. Let's run the top at least. So top enhancements. Select top page. It's enabled top. I want to have information about is top one enabled. Yes, it is enabled. It's not enabled. It is enabled. Get active page. This one is three is activated. Give active page three is also enabled. Top enhancements. Is something enabled? It is enabled. Step nine enabled. Oops. Wrong key. Sorry. Tap lock. Here we go. So it's disabled. So a lot of uh, new choices inside the application environment for the user interface to check the user interface, to check the rich text control, the date time picker, often a wish to select more than one date, and the greater data import to import XLS information or only XLS information, also to export something like marking this information and do a data export like that one and do a grid export. So run as an export. That's it. Let's go back to our presentation. Okay. Any questions so far? So Hermon, yes, there are a few questions that have come in. Let me open them. So mm -hmm. The first one, is it possible to import export Word documents from a rich text control like the grid to Excel export import? Well, uh, it supports only the rich text format. But uh, if I did, for example, my sample has a Word document with uh, rich text information. So at least um, to use a native, uh, a native Word document, I don't think that's possible. Also to export it to a native Word document is not possible, no. So it right. is always a rich text format. Right, you can save it as a .rtf file, right? And, and, and Word can exactly. open that. Exactly. Yeah. So what I do is uh, I save it always an, as an RTF document, and then I can use Word, for example, to load this information. But I cannot directly export to a Word document. No. Another question that is, um, more, well, you can answer it, and I can answer it. Um, it's not related to the presentation now. Mm -hmm. um, Martin mentioned that TD supports Git at the beginning of his presentation. Is there any documentation or instructions for setting up a Git repo with Team Developer? Um, let me quickly answer that, that one. So you cannot set up a, a Git repo with Team Developer. You need to have a repository set up already, and then you can use it with Team Developer. In Team Developer, in the Tools menu, there's a Source Control menu item. When you click on that and you have a <clears throat> Git repository installed, then you can provide the URL or the um, pass to that um, Git um, repository and you log in credentials and then you will be able to use it to check in and check out um, the um, uh, source code changes, basically. Hope that helps. Let me see if anything else has come in. Um, no, that's it for the moment. So thank you very much, Helmut. And with that, we... Um, we are on for the lunch break and we'll reconvene at um, 1 p.m., so 13 hours um, Central European time.
Talk to you soon again.